John Deere 1500 series front axle problems. They got them. So here we're going to talk about um, what goes wrong with them, how we sell them, why we sell them the way we do, how our core rebate program works. But first, full disclosure, we do not sell individual parts for this axle. We only sell a complete. So if you found this listing, this video, because you need some parts and pieces, we can't help you. We'll save you that phone call. We only sell it complete. So even if you see it online, through a Google search, it leads you to us. We just don't sell them because we keep all these um, on the shelf for our own use to keep these built up. So what goes wrong with this is the input shaft area or the input area. So this is a male input. There's a female input, input bearing, input gears. And when all that goes crazy, this is what happens to your housing. It gets hot and it runs the housing, spins the bearing. We have not uh, found any good way to machine and sleeve the housings. So to replace all that, your dealer's gonna quote you parts and labor. It's gonna be somewhere, on an average, it's gonna be somewhere around $40,000. So if you can get yours repaired for less than 40, we're gonna tell you to call your dealer and tell him to order the parts. Because used parts are very, very rare. They're hard to find. You're competing with us on them because we're keep, we keep them bought up because we need them to keep the axles going. And we're not hoarders, but the same thing happens to them every time. If you need a left-hand axle housing, you know, got plenty of those those never fail so right hand sides what always goes bad planetaries will go bad from time to time just not that often so you're at 40 grand and that does not include going through your final drive or at least you've got to reshim your final drive do you have leaky steering cylinders do you have bad um Bushings on your pivots? Do you have bad tie rods? You know, what What do we know? And the answer there is that most of the time you don't know. You got, your dealer knows what's happened, but a lot of times this is still up under the, under the tractor to, uh, they know what happened, but they don't know what all's bad. So if you have to spend 40, why wouldn't you spend, well, you're gonna spend another five to have him go through the final, for everything else. So our price currently is 55,000 with up to 10,000 on the core rebate. Core rebate is solely based on the final drive and that all parts come back. So this is a real time example. This just came back a couple days ago. The customer did not send back the rear pivot. So he gets 5,000 and 5,000 but then he has to, he gets a deduct for a new pivot. He also gets a new deduct or a deduct for uh, new boats and washers because ours comes with new boats and washers. So his is gonna be, I don't know what the, what the price of that stuff is, but you know, he's probably gonna get 85 to $9,000 back. So we just want everything back so we can get the next one going. That's the whole go. Now this is an eight hour repair, eight to 10 hour uh, swap out of an axle, but it's a 40 hour repair in the dealership. And 40 hours doesn't mean five days, it means seven to 10. That's assuming no parts are on back order. So our rebuilds are gonna go ahead and have the final drives are gone through, steering cylinders are gone through, pivots, uh, new, um, the uh, bushings, excuse, excuse me, on the front and rear pivots. There's O-rings and thrust washers. The only thing that uh, we can't do is we can't do the break-in procedure on the final drives because they have new, new seals, excuse me. That is important because if you get a leak in uh, the first 100 hours, it's because you didn't do the break-in procedure. And those... 
you know, it's kind of, unless the seal's damaged, we won't pay the warranty. So we'd rather just be up front with it. If your seal, because your seal won't be damaged uh, from the leak, Actually, if the seal's damaged, it's gonna leak immediately. So if you got an early leak, you didn't do a break-in procedure, and we want you to do that. We also wanna follow the uh, OEM's guidelines. So after, just like if you had a brand new machine, after 100 hours, you, sh you should change your oil. So these are OEM guidelines, they're not ours. If you read your uh, ops manual, it'll tell you the same thing. If you have access to service advisor, it will tell you again that after a major failure of anything hydraulic, related or runs in oil, it should be changed at 100 hours of service. Not every 100 hours, the first 100 hours. So for us to be able to give our warranty, which we want to go, we're going to in a longer extended warranty on these, we're going to supply and provide oil scans so that at the standard interval that the final drives are supposed to be checked every 250 hours. Not changed, but just checked. So when you check your oil level, you turn that horizontal, you know how to do that. You've got that in there. We send the oil, oil tubes along with a little pump on them. You put it in there, drop it in the mail, it goes to the lab. Same thing here. So as long as you do that, we're willing to go longer on our warranty because you got a little skin in the game. You're helping us with the preventive maintenance. And if there's any issue on our end, we find it. If there's any issue on your end, we find it. The goal again is that we don't, we minimize any potential warranty issues. If we do find them, we find them fast and we can get them fixed. Because that's really why you're, you know, that's why you have a, forty to fifty thousand dollar repair is because the ag dealers just do not participate in the preventive maintenance. An oil scan would have caught this probably last year before it went out. Can't stress that enough. We can't educate everybody on it, but we can certainly put it into our warranty program that says this is how we want to warranty it. As long as you do that, we'll take care of it. So 1500 axle, that's a little long video, but if you, you know, hey, anybody's gonna spend that type of money, they want to uh, know some details. Axles are completely disassembled. Everything's cleaned. Oil galleys are cleaned out, no contamination, starts clean and fresh. And we can't ship them with oil, so you've got a, you're responsible for putting oil in them. You're responsible for doing your uh, standard maintenance on your greasing, everything that is in your operator's manual. We don't ask you to do anything extra. But if it's in your ops manual, then one, you should already be doing it to your tractor or to your part, and it's also not us making up anything. The oil scans, we haven't made it up. It's not in your ops manual, but if you got a construction dealer close, he'll tell you how important that they are. If we can help you out, let us know.